The Amazing Rabbit Under the big tree, a few girls were happily jumping rope. The sounds of their laughter were like silver bells ringing and caught the attention of a little rabbit named Autumn. Autumn hid in the nearby bushes, secretly observing. Wow, that's great! They're jumping so well! Autumn couldn't help but exclaim. The girls immediately stopped jumping and walked over to the bushes. Who's calling? Why won't they come out? Oh my, we're about to be discovered. Startled, Autumn hurriedly ran away. The girls only saw a white flash and couldn't see anything else. How strange! I wonder who it was. This little rabbit, named Autumn, rushed back home and gasped for breath. As she told her rabbit mom, Mom, I saw some girls jumping rope under the big tree. They were jumping rope? Yes, Mom, I want to learn how to jump rope too. You want to learn to jump rope? Rabbit Mom laughed. Child, don't be silly. No rabbit jumps rope. But I want to learn, Autumn insisted. From then on, Autumn went to watch the girls jumping rope every day. She paid close attention to their movements and memorized them all. However, watching alone wouldn't be enough. She needed to practice. One day, Autumn dressed up like a human child and walked into a small shop. Excuse me, do you have any jump ropes? Autumn asked the kind old lady sitting behind the counter in a soft voice. Jump ropes, you say? The old lady asked warmly, and she even raised her hands and demonstrated a jump rope motion. You mean jump ropes like this? Yes, exactly. Do you have any? I'm sorry, we don't have any, the old lady said, shaking her head and opening her palms in a sorry manner. None, Autumn sighed softly and left the store. Please wait, this one belongs to my granddaughter, but I'll give it to you. The old lady said, coming out with a jump rope in her hands. You're giving it to me, is that really true? Thank you so much, Autumn exclaimed and bowed gratefully to the old lady. Autumn practiced jumping rope diligently. At first, she couldn't get it right and often stumbled and fell. Other young rabbits teased her, saying, What a funny rabbit! Keep it up, Autumn, her mom, who initially disagreed with her practicing, encouraged her. Her mom's words filled Autumn with confidence, and she practiced even harder. Finally, Autumn learned how to jump rope and could do it continuously for dozens of jumps. The young rabbits who once laughed at her now looked on in amazement. One day, Autumn returned to the big tree where she had first seen the girls jumping rope. She swung the jump rope high and started counting. One, two, three, four. When she reached 100, applause erupted from behind the tree. It was the girls who had come to jump rope and were astonished to see a rabbit jumping so well. Suddenly, one of the little girls exclaimed, that's my jump rope. How come grandma gave it to a rabbit? That's right. We're so glad to see you. Autumn bowed to the little girl and smiled with her red lips stretched wide. One, two, three, four, five. Under the big tree, Autumn and the girls happily jumped rope together. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Find more story for kids.